different from the last time I was here. These kind of look sim similar. I've seen these before. We have the much smaller count puzzles. This is a 48 piece. That's by Cardinal. Yeah, Princess. Hey, happy birthday! <laughs> we have these 350 piece sets from Puzzle Bug. I don't think I have any Puzzle Bug ones from Dollar Tree. This is pretty. This is a deluxe. I don't know what what makes this deluxe. That'll make a good quickie puzzle. We have a few different images here. That's nice. Ooh, farm stands. There seems to be a ton, but these are so high. It's a big selection. That's a beautiful one. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, I see. Bigger pieces. I almost want to take this whole thing down from here so that I can get a good look. Can I do that? I don't know. I should try. I got 24 piece puzzle counts here. These are more for kids, really. We have Berenstein Bears. I used to read that story when I was a kid so much. We have Arthur. We have Eleanor. That's fun. And at a dollar twenty-five, you don't have to worry too much if the kids tear these to pieces or break them or anything. These are 240 pieces, and these are two different images in one box, which is cool. That's a fun one there. We got this one as well. Again, these are really great quickie puzzles. Got more 48-piece ones here of the Berestein Bears. We got 24-piece counts. Oh, wow. These are pretty big. And these all look to be the same here. We've got Disney Frozen puzzles. We've got more puzzles from PBS Kids. And we're getting more towards the bigger count puzzles on the bottom. Again, these are more 350 piece puzzles. And these are for from Games Hub. I don't think I have this brand from here. Let's see what images we got. We got Nautical Buoys. Colorful Canal. That's nice. Oh, I love French macaroons. I love fruit <laughs> eating on it. Oh, succulent plants. I love succulents. I have quite a number of them at home. Let's see. We got handmade quilt, fruits and veggies. Oh, this is nice. Look at this one. Tulips and windmills. I like this one. It's really pretty. Oh, look at this one. That's nice too. Desert Canyon. Hmm, that's a maybe as well. I'm gonna put those right here and I'll put them back if I don't get those. But let's see what else we got. I see this puzzle bug one here. I might have to figure out what other puzzle bug ones here. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful house. That's probably my house. These are again from the deluxe collection here. We have cats. That's pretty as well. We got a lot here. Check this out. We got hot air balloons. This is pretty as well. I love that waterfall. We got sushi. I'm not a huge fan of sushi. I'll eat it, but you know, I'll pass. We got some kitty cats. <gasps> this one. That's really pretty. See, if I know how to grow flowers and plants and whatnot, my flower shop would probably look like this. I really love this image. This, I think it's gonna have to go in the maybe as well. We have mountains here. This is really pretty. What is it with hot air balloons and puzzles though? I notice that's kind of like the same thing with, you know, having a random dog in images. I see a lot of images, puzzle images with hot air balloons. What else? What is this? I can't even make out what this is. Oh, it's like a bunch of origami. This is interesting. What's the thousands of rainbow origami cranes? See if you if I turned it around and looked at the box, then I would have known what it was. What else? Do we have anything else different here? Let's see. Try not to knock this over. That's very that's weird looking. I don't know. I'm not feeling too good about that one. Beautiful sunset over Manhattan. Look at that. That's really nice. I actually went to New York City a few weeks ago. And I'm gonna be honest. Um, the skyline don't look like that no more. I wasn't too excited about the new looking skyline with all those new tall skinny buildings. Didn't didn't make me feel good. Ooh, look at this one. 
I love this one. This is a really cute coffee puzzle. And this looks like something that I could even probably glue and like kind of hang it in my kitchen or something. I like that one. Let's put that in the maybe pile. So we have the 500 count ones here. Oh, check this out. Now they have Spin Masters one. I don't remember seeing this last time. Do they have any other images aside from this one here? This is interesting. I like the colors. But let's see if there's anything else. Looks to be the only one. Oh, I wish they had more like of a landscape image. I would have totally gone for something like that. So we have art box here, and I do have art box ones at home already. I have this one. I know that's really pretty. Look at this one. Look at all those little animals. You should get that. You think so? Yeah, get it because you don't have it yet. That is super cute. Look, the little mice are like just reading a little story together. This is so cute. It looks like a little storybook. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. That's cute. I know I have art box already, but I don't know. That image was super cute. We have this one here. Okay, this is another Puzzle Bug Deluxe, and I don't really know. Oh, I know the difference between the red and the purple. It's the size count. Hello. Maybe I need another cup of coffee. I don't know. We have some thread here. Oh, who doesn't love a good taco? That looks delicious. Though the only issue would be that it would probably make me really hungry whilst I was puzzling and distract me. Let me try to save this mess that I'm making here. Okay, I have that one. That's the cute one. What in the world? What's a, what is this? That's kind of weird. Llama dolls. I'm starting to wonder if this bigger art box puzzle set is any different from the ones that I have at home. It doesn't seem like they are. It could just be that they made the boxes a little bit more sturdier or a little nicer looking, but I would be curious about that. I don't know. I definitely want to try Puzzle Bug though, because I do not have that brand. Oh, wait a minute. It's Crazy Art. I do have Crazy Art. So what's the difference with Puzzle Bug and Art Box then? Is there a difference? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out, won't we? So I have quite a bit of maybes here. I don't really see anything more aside from that. Those are more of the puzzle bug ones. All right, I pulled the box now because I just had to look at the selection here. We have, as you saw this before, we saw this one already. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. What is this one called? Aerial view of Croatia. That's pretty. Look at this. I could see myself sitting here. It's a traditional colorful tavern. Oh my God, I wonder what kind of food they serve here. That looks cozy. Coffee and treats, that's my kind of thing. I like that. Got a little succulents and emojis. Oh, some wooden shoes here. That's cute. We have some gnomes here. We got flowers here. We love dogs. We got a one here with a whole bunch of random dogs. We got some ice cream here if you're feeling for dessert. We got something here to give you some road trip feels. I love road trips. We have a mountainscape with, of course, your random hot air balloons in the sky. And that looks to be pretty much it. Now I just gotta put this back on the shelf without, you know, dropping them all. Now I don't know if there's anything more around in the store, so I'm gonna walk around a bit and see if there is any other brands at different price ranges. All right, so there was really nothing else in that Dollar Tree aside from what we saw together, but I did manage to pick up a couple of sets from there, but I think what we're gonna do now is instead of ending it at that for Dollar Tree in general, we're gonna head to another location and let's see what they have there. Hopefully they got more than that. So let's go check it out. much got like the same stuff here do we have anything new these are the small sets that's a 48 piece but that is pretty nice oh that's cool if you're into beer we have this set more of the pbs kits ones oh what's this one oh that's really pretty i love this it has the different seasons on it that's fun that might be a maybe actually let me see that's a different one here as well that looks fun what else do we got we got the same buttons again more of the very very small count pieces here as you can see this place is a bit of a disaster i think all right what else 
That's pretty. Got some bird houses here. And this is the Puzzle Bug Deluxe thicker pieces. Got some birds here. What else we got? Some kitty cats. I think we saw that one last time. Definitely saw that one. We got the creepy looking toys here. We got this some. Is creepy looking toys. Yeah, look at that. That's some strange stuff, huh? Ew. Yeah, ew. That's what I thought. Got some marine life here. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Got some parrots here. They look like they're up to no good for some reason. I don't know. They look a little suspicious. It's making me a little uncomfortable. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Pancakes. Oh my God. I love this image. This is so cute. It actually has recipes on it. This is awesome. I love this. I'm going to put this in the maybe area. We got this one here. That's fun. And that image as well. I'm not too crazy about that but in terms of the 500 piece sets that's <coughs> all they have look at this disaster oh my god what a mess look at this oh my goodness oh, i found another aisle here and i just so happened to find ones that are not a dollar 25 these are the three dollar sets here so let's see what we got we got this is actually really pretty oh wow i'm impressed look at that one <gasps> Oh, wow. Look at that. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's only $3. It's 300 pieces. They're extra large pieces. Country Fair by Joseph Holliduke Puzzle Collector. This is a rose art image, a rose art uh, puzzle. What else do they have? We have 500 pieces here that are also three. Oh my goodness. This is fantastic. That little girl could be my daughter. Look at that house. Oh my God, I would so live in that house. And those flowers everywhere. That's some great landscaping. This is probably not my house actually. I couldn't keep my front yard looking that good. And look, a random dog. This is beautiful. Oh, this is tough. I don't know what to do. We have some bunch of random animals here. What else? We have flip flops. That's pretty. It's a nice fantasy image. Beautiful colors here as well. These are all rose art. $3 is really not bad. Oh my God, these are fantastic. I wish they had these at my other location. This is a bunch of orcas here. This is gorgeous. And if the color print is this vibrant, that is really not bad. Of course, my concern would be the fit of these pieces, but you know, get what you pay for. Look at this. That's pretty darn cool. This is really fun. These are 300 pieces. Look at that. That looks quite challenging. Wow, I'm impressed, honestly. This is a great price for 500 piece sets. And again, you know, who knows what this quality is like. I'd be curious to find out. You know what? I just might, I just might end up picking something up from here. Let me make my final decisions here and meet you back at home. definitely one of those places where you go in with the intention of buying you know a couple things and then you end up walking out with a bunch of bags now hit that like button if you tend to be guilty of that like me and I'm not just talking about Dollar Tree let me know down below which is your guilty pleasure store now I was really hoping this summer I was gonna get to a bunch of flea markets and garage sales but I mean, the weather has been absolutely terrible where I live. I don't know about you guys, but we've been having numerous storms. So every time I plan to go to one, it ends up being washed out or canceled or something. But I'm still hoping I get a chance to in the next few weeks. If not, it is what it is. But that's why I kind of wanted to head to Dollar Tree to see if I can get some really cheap finds. And thankfully I did. So here's what I picked up in the first location. I didn't go too crazy, I could have, but you know, even though they're 125, you know, I still have to, you know, stay within budget because um, times are still rough. But anyways, the first set that I picked up was one of the Puzzle Bugs Deluxe sets. And this one is called Fresh Flowers Outside Florist Shop. And this one is 350 pieces and it is 20 inches by 12 inches when it's completed. And this is by Crazy Art, but I guess the collection is Puzzle Bug. I guess it's one of their cheaper brands. But this particular one, the Deluxe, is thicker pieces. So I'm really curious to kind of see what these feel like compared to the other sets that I picked up 
from Dollar Tree. And you know, there was a bunch of other sets that you saw, but this one, I really love this one because look at how beautiful these flowers are. What a beautiful little flower shop. As I said before, if I knew how to, you know, grow flowers or do anything of the sort, my store would probably look this good. And when I looked at my Dollar Tree puzzle sets that I picked up in the past, I don't have any puzzle bug. Again, I don't know if it's any different really than the other crazy art collections, but you know, we'll see, right? And the other set that I picked up from the first location is an art box set. And you know, I, I, you know, I just had to get this one. This one is called Coffee Every Day. Uh, yeah. I probably would have called it Coffee Every Minute, but that's okay. This one is 20 inches by 12 inches when it's completed. It's 350 pieces. And again, this is also by Crazy Art. And you guys know I love coffee, so this was an easy pick for me. And I feel like this is something if I can somehow manage to glue it together or put it on some sticky paper or something, I would probably hang this up on my kitchen wall or something like that. This is absolutely adorable. And these are both crazy art, so I'd be very curious to see what's the difference in quality between Art Box and Puzzle Bug. If, if there even is a difference or they just decided to change the name one day, I don't know. And our second stop at Dollar Tree, which was a different location, um, the first one that I picked up, again, you know I had to get this one. It is called Homemade Pancakes. Yes, please. It is 500 pieces and it is 20 inches by 12 inches when it's completed. And again, it's by Crazy Art. And I'm pretty sure you know why I had to pick this one, right? I mean, it's pancakes. I love breakfast. And what I love about this set is aside from the fact that it has a beautiful stack of pancakes in the front here, it also gives you a recipe right in the middle of the image. It even gives you some suggestions on what to serve it with. And of course, there's a pot of coffee on the side. Do you love pancakes? I love pancakes. I wish they had one with waffles, but that's okay. Anyways, like I said, with the coffee set, I'm going to try my best to kind of put this one together, like either glue it or put it on some sticky paper, because I think these would look fantastic displayed in my kitchen. So the pancake one was $1.25. And as you saw, <clears throat> please excuse me if I'm looking a little rough. I'm trying not to cough here. Let's see if I can continue making this video without looking like I'm choking or something. But anyways, as you saw, I did find some sets that were in kind of like the aisles where they have items that are a little bit more expensive. And I found it really interesting because I didn't find any of this in my first location, which happens to be much closer to my house. But of those sets, the ones that I picked up was, of course, you know I had to get this one. It's called Country Fair 2, I guess, by Joseph Holoduk. Is that right? I don't know. It is 300 pieces, and these are the extra large pieces. And it comes out to a 24 inch by 18 inch image when it's completed. And the series looks to be called Puzzle Collector. Now this is interesting because I just noticed this now. It says Rose Art in, you know, nice big image here. But then on the side, it says Crazy Art. So I'm gonna guess that Crazy Out bought out Rose Art or something, but it says here that this looks to be manufactured by Rose Art. And it was $3. And you can't really beat that price. That's a fantastic price for a 300 piece set. And the image is spectacular. You know I love to talk about carnivals and amusement parks and all that kind of stuff. I would certainly want to be hanging out here. There's tons of fun stuff going on. And best of all, of course you got food stalls. That'll be my first stop. And this is overall just such a fun and colorful image. And what I'm most curious about these $3 sets is their fit. And not only that, now that I look at the image a little bit more, is the image print on the piece is gonna be as vibrant as this? And I'd be curious as well, the thickness of the pieces were, you know, thin, I don't know. But I'm sure this is gonna be fun either way. And then the last set that I picked up is also from the same, I guess you could say series of Puzzle Collector. And this one is called Fishing at the Cottage by Franco Zappa. It's 500 pieces and it is 24 inches by 18 inches when it's completed. And again, it's by Rose Art or Crazy Art, one of those two, I, I'm not sure. And even though it's a 500 piece set, what's fantastic was that it was also $3. And as I mentioned when we were shopping, you know how much I love this image. As I said, that could be my little girl right there with, you know, some friends. I don't have a dog though, so I don't know, maybe he came from the neighbor's house, who knows? 
Or maybe this is my neighbor's house. We got some houses I just noticed in the background here. Probably one of those will be mine. Probably the one in the very, very far distance back there. Might be a lot prettier than this house, who knows? But yeah, I'm kind of excited that Dollar Tree has started putting out sets like this. And yeah, I know I say that I hate how Dollar Tree is not, you know, everything is $1 anymore. But you know, $3 is really not bad either. Especially for sets that have a pretty good puzzle count to them. And these images are fantastic. Am I expecting the, you know, the greatest quality sets ever? N no, not at $3. But I'll be very curious to discover where it falls short on. Either way, I know it's gonna be fun, so you know, we'll see, right? I can't sit there expecting much putting these together when I've only spent like what, three, six, maybe $10 on a total of five puzzle sets? That's really not bad. So if I were you, I would probably hit up your closest Dollar Tree or maybe your closest two or three locations and kind of see what each one has. Because as I said, my first location didn't have the $3 sets, which is, you know, kind of sad really. I'm hoping they come out with them soon, but again, check them out and let me know down below which sets did you find or pick up for yourself. Now again, I'm hoping within the next few weeks that I can check out one of the flea markets or garage sales, obviously depending on the weather. But if not, you know, there's always next summer, right? But feel free to let me know down below if you did check out any flea markets or garage sales and if you found anything interesting. But anyways, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe so that you can hear what I have to say about these Dollar Tree sets. And also you could tag along with me in my other puzzle adventures. Well guys, I need to get a drink of water. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you in the next one.